Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Elder Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It's always an honor and a pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And we are so excited about what God is, is doing in this time, in this season. And today, uh, we want to share with you a revelatory word, uh, being our partners in prayer, something that God laid within my spirit on yesterday as we were in prayer for partners in prayer. And so I wanted to share that with you because it is our only desire that we all grow into spiritual uh, growth within our Christian walk. On yesterday, as being in prayer, I heard the words, make godly decisions that will uphold the will of God. I'll say that again, make decisions that will uphold the will of God. And what does that mean? That means that all of my decisions, everything that I do, I must make sure that it is lined up with the word of God. It means that I do not wish to do anything that is contrary to the will of God for my life, it means that I must find out, first of all, what is the will of God for me? Oftentimes, we do things based off of emo emotions. And we do things based off of people, their expectations of us, circumstances, things of that nature. But what God is saying in this season, in this time, is, is that I need someone that will not rush in, but will wait on me and follow the directions I have for their life. Someone that will submit themselves unto the power and the authority of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That is who God is after in this time. And we're going to share with you some scriptures based off of what God expects from us. We'll be back in just a moment. If you are in the New Jersey area and you are looking for a place of worship, please visit Faith Outreach Deliverance Church located at 100 South Pine Street, Bridgeton, New Jersey, 08302. The leaders of this great house are Chief Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. and Dr. Lady Lillian C. Allen. Services are every Sunday morning. 9.45 a.m. is Sunday school, 11 a.m. is morning worship, and also 4 o'clock services begin every single Sunday unless otherwise noted. Wednesdays, 6 o'clock p.m. is prayer, 7 o'clock p.m. is Bible study, on Fridays at 7 o'clock p.m. is evangelistic services. While in the Tampa Bay area, please visit True Life Community Worship Center. The address is 7402 North 56th Street, Building 600, Tampa, Florida 33617. The leaders of this house are Senior Pastor Calvin Green and Pastor Angela Green. Every Sunday morning, 
True You begins at 9 o'clock a.m. and Morning Worship begins at 10.30 a.m. On Wednesdays, Bible study begins at 7 o'clock p.m. Once again, that is True Life Community Worship Center, 7402 North 56th Street, Building 600, Tampa, Florida, 33617. I'm quite sure that they will welcome each and every one of you with open arms. Today we are talking about making decisions that uphold the will of God. And we want to take a look at two passages of scripture. We're going to take a look at Joshua, the ninth chapter and the 14th verse. Making sure that the decisions that we make are in line with the will of God for our lives. I can assure you that there have been times in my life that I have made some decisions. I did not consult God. If the truth be told, I have made some alliances some business deals, some personal relationships, even some spiritual relationships that I didn't consult God on. And so our word today with making decisions that will uphold the will of God is so important. And so we're going to take a look at Joshua. And let's begin at the let's begin at the first verse. Because this right here is about the trickery of the Gibeonites. And it came to pass when all the kings which were on this side of Jordan, in the hills and in the valleys, and in all the coast of the great sea over against Lebanon, the Hittite and the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Perizzite, the Havite, and the Jebusite heard thereof, that they gathered themselves together to fight with Joshua and with Israel with one accord. And when the inhabitants of Gibeon heard what Joshua had done unto Jericho and to Ai, they did work willingly and went and made as if they had been ambassadors and took old sacks upon their asses and wine bottles, old and rent and bound up and old shoes and clouded upon their feet and old garments upon them and all the bread of their provisions were dry and moldy. And they went to Joshua unto the camp at Gigal and said unto them and to the men of Israel, we be come from a far country. Now therefore make ye a league with us. And the men of Israel said unto the Havites, Preadventure ye dwell among us, and how shall we make a league with you? And they said unto Joshua, We are thy servants. And Joshua said unto them, Who are ye, and from whence come ye? And they said unto him, From a very far country thy servants are come because of the name of the Lord thy God. For we have heard of the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. And so as you can see that uh, the devices of the enemy to get within uh, your visions, oh my God, the enemy is cunning and the enemy will craft a way to make it seems that they are a part of you. But if we do not consult God, we can open the door wide open and accept the enemy. When is the last time? Hmm, when is the last time you consulted God about the connections that you've made? When is the last time that you actually said, God, is this your will? You know, I'm reminded sometimes about the spirit of sabotage. The spirit of sabotage will act as if they are interested in assisting you. But there is 
a hidden agenda. That spirit of sabotage will cast down all of your ideas, even your vision will even begin to uh, implement and slide in their own agenda and vision. And before you know it, you are not doing what God called you to do. You're not even working in the vision you started out with. And so it's important that we, as the body of Christ, slow down, consult God, and don't move until an answer comes. We'll be back in a moment. We would like to invite you to visit us on our website. The address is www.angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com. Via the website, you have the opportunity to check out our ministry schedule, our teaching curriculum, as well as the learning lab in which we are so excited about. You have full access to the learning lab at no charge. Also on the website is our publishing division, our bookstore, and a whole in whole host of information on how to stay connected with us. Once again, visit us on the website, www.angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com. And while in the, oh God, while in the, in the Palmetto area, we thank God for connecting with several different ministries. I'd like to extend an inv invitation to Mount Raymond Full Gospel Baptist Church. The address is 2410 4th Avenue East, Palmetto, Florida, 34221. Once again, Mount Raymond Full Gospel Baptist Church. The address is 2410 4th Avenue East, Palmetto, Florida, 34221. For a schedule of their services, please call area code 941-722-7819. We are so excited about what God is doing and, and how he is just um, speaking to us. And, and so the word that we're sharing with you today is, is what the word of God came and, and ministered unto uh, my spirit on yesterday as we were in prayer for partners in prayer and because you are part of our listening audience uh, because that we have our we have our viewing audience and and we have some that have uh, sent in prayer requests and and so partners in prayer are who we are together and the word came make decisions that will uphold the will of God. And our first example we're taking a look at is over in Joshua the ninth chapter where the enemy devised themselves. They, they concealed their real identity. They put a scenario together seem as if they were in need and that they wanted to make a covenant with the children of Israel. And this is after the children of Israel have crossed the Jordan into the promised land. And Joshua did ask in Joshua 9 and 8, and they said unto Joshua, we are thy servants. And Joshua said unto them, who are ye and from whence come ye? And they said unto him, From a very far country thy servants are come because of the name of the Lord thy God. For we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt, and all that he did to the two kings of the Amorites that were beyond Jordan, to Saon king of Heshbon, and to Og king of Bashan, which was at Ashtaroth. Wherefore our elders and all our inhabitants of our country spake to us, saying, Take victuals with you for the journey, and go to meet them, and say unto them, We are your servants, therefore now make ye a league with us. This our bread, and then they went on to describe their bread. This our bread we took hot for our provision out of our houses on the day we came forth to go unto you, but now, behold, it is dry and it is moldy. So it made it seem as if they've come from this very, very far place when in fact they were not. They were just coming actually in all reality 
say from over on the other side of the heel. But we have to be so very, very careful and we have to be so cautious, let me tell you. Verse 13 says, And these bottles of wine which we filled were new, and behold, they be rent. These are garments, and our shoes are become old by reason of the very long journey. And the men took of their victuals and asked not counsel at the mouth of God. And so they took what they had, they accepted what they had. And they made a covenant with these strangers. Ask yourself in the decisions that you've made, did you consult God? Did you really, really consult him and wait for an answer or did you move based off of emotions? Here they move based off of circumstance. They saw someone that seemed to be in a position less than they and where they themselves were no longer slaves, but were free, and they didn't have servants at this time, they took upon themselves to be Lord over someone. They didn't consult God before they made this league. That's a dangerous place to be in, because once again, you invite the enemy in, and you didn't consult God. And listen, we've all been there. We've all made that mistake. But now God is speaking and he's sending out a warning and he's saying unto us, listen, I need you to consult me before you make another move. I need you to pray. I need you to get an understanding. I need you to listen to me because I know the plans that I have for you. I know the direction that I want you to go in. I know who I want you to connect with. I have someone that is set aside just for you. I know what I have for you. And some errors, some pitfalls, you won't run into if you slow down and if you consult God. That's an if. If you wait on the guidance of the Holy Spirit, I will direct your path. That's what he's asking. God is asking for an opportunity to direct our paths. Isn't that wonderful? That he won't just lead us out there aimlessly. Mm, I absolutely love him. We'll be back in a moment. We would like to invite our ministry leaders and organizations to advertise with us. There are no financial obligations. All we ask is that you email us the name of your ministry, the location being the address, the leaders of the great house, and your time of services. And we will make mention of your ministry on the air at no charge. That's right. There is no charge for us to make mention of your ministry while we are on the air Tuesday through Thursday from 1230 to 1 o'clock p.m. Email us your ministry information or if you have an upcoming event within your ministry to aFergusonWRP at yahoo.com. Also, Speaking of advertisements and our partners in prayer, there are a few things going on coming up that we would like to make mention of. One of our partners in prayer 
You'll Overcome Ministries. The founder is Yolanda Lee George. Has partner, partnered with Divine Destiny Center. That founder is Kimberly Jackson. For Sisters in Christ collaborating for the 2019 2020 school year with the back to school prayer breakfast this event is free but you must be registered the date of this back to school prayer breakfast is saturday august the 3rd 2019 time 10 a.m to 12 o'clock noon located at the chester h ferguson event center the address is 1610 North Tampa Street, Tampa, Florida 33602. Please RSVP by calling 813-377-6725 or by visiting the website www.youllovercome.com. This event is also mentioned on Eventbrite. There is vendor space available they do welcome donations and sponsorship. This is a time of prayer and intercession for our youth. And so we definitely support that particular event. Once again, you'll overcome ministries and its founder, prophetess Yolanda Lee George is one of our partners in prayer. If you have just tuned in, you have tuned into the balance of life, and we are so excited about this time, about what is going on. God is God is doing some things. He's shifting some things in the atmosphere, and he is preparing us by instructing us to make sure that our decisions will uphold the will of God. And so we just took a look at the example in Joshua. And what happened was because they did not find out who these people were, they found themselves going into a battle that had nothing to do with them. But God reminded them, from the beginning, you didn't consult me. You didn't ask me who these people were. You took their word. And so... As our partners in prayer, let us slow down. Let us find out who we are connecting with before you make that next decision. Before you sign those papers, I don't know who I'm talking to and that just fell in my spirit. Before you sign those papers, before you make a move, consult God, find out is this his will. We'll be back in just a moment. True Life Community Worship Center's Focus Ministry is having a back-to-school book bag giveaway Saturday, July the 27th, 2019 at 11 o'clock a.m. The location will be at Helping Hand Day Nursery. The address is 6406 North 43rd Street, Tampa, Florida 33610. There will be free school supplies, a bounce house, food and games. Once again, this is on behalf of True Life Community Worship Center's Focus Ministry. The leaders of this great house are Senior Pastor Calvin and Angela Green. Once again, it is a back to school book bag giveaway and we have one more day to make that announcement which is on tomorrow uh, because that is coming up on this Saturday. And of course, we're not on the air on Friday, but if you were to visit uh, our uh, Facebook page, it is listed. If you go to True Life Community Worship Center's uh, Facebook page, their focus ministry, it is listed there as well. And so take part of these particular events. Our Facebook page is author Angel Ferguson Ferguson. Uh, we will have these events on our site. Also, if you go over to You'll Overcome Ministries, you can definitely take a look at what they have coming up as well.
again, as we are returning, we're talking about making decisions that uphold the will of God. What does that mean? What does that mean for me? What does that mean for you? What exactly does that mean? Now we're going to take a look at Paul, the apostle. Because in ministry, we would desire to go and, and minister a word. Uh, we would desire to, you know, we, we just feel like, hey, I, I want to go over into this place. I want to spread the word over here. I want to go there. I, I just want to go and, and, and share the word. Well, we have to wait on that also. We have to wait on the directions of God. And the example we're going to take a look at now, as stated, is with the Apostle Paul. And so we're going to go over to Acts, the 16th chapter. And let's start at the sixth verse. It says, Now when they had gone throughout Bigeria in the region of Galatia and were forbidden of the Holy Ghost to preach the word in Asia. After they were come to Messiah, they essayed to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit suffered them not. And so here on two occasions, Paul desired to go into two different areas to minister. That's where he wanted to go. That's where he felt the word of God was needed. That's where he felt his presence was needed at that time. That's where he felt the message needed to be shared at that time. But the Holy Spirit forbade him to go when it comes to ministry. There are times we might receive an invitation there are times that we feel that our message that we are currently studying needs to be spoken in a certain region or an atmosphere or to a certain audience. But is that the will of God? Don't get me wrong. Yes, the word of God is supposed to be taught. It's supposed to be preached until the ends of the world. But here's what we all have to understand. If we were to line up with the will of God, he has an audience set aside for each one of his willing vessels. And the message that is embedded within me is for a specific audience. You have a message embedded in you, a word from God, for an audience that God wants you to reach. And if I go into your territory and deliver a message when it's you that are supposed to be in that particular territory, I'm doing several things. First of all, I'm not doing the will of God. Second of all, I'm giving them something that they're not ready for or something that they have already overcome and that they can't grasp. And I'm not feeding them. I'm not leading them correctly. I'm doing it out of my own flesh because I feel that everyone in every area needs to hear my word. No. I'm so sorry that it's just not the way it works. God is not mocked. He knows who he wants us to reach. And so we must consult him in every area of our life. Not just on some things, but in every area. And as you can see with the examples that we gave today, when it comes to business, making an allegiance, an alliance, a covenant before you sign those papers before you do anything I need you to consult God is this the will of God and when it comes to the things in our spiritual life ministering the word where we go to plant seed I need you to consult God make sure that your decisions uphold the will of God and we're coming to a close today keep us in prayer as we will forever keep you in our prayers let the will of God be done and manifested in your life. I absolutely love you without measure. Stay encouraged, encouraging others along the way.